Hello there my loves, welcome back and thank you for clicking on this one. So because I have got a lot of questions about life in Ghana, I want to do it here so that I can be of help to those uh, that have not even reached out to me but those that are doing their um, research. I have got a lot of DMs on Instagram and questions on here at the comment section of most of my videos about moving to Ghana and then because of that i want to put this one together and i'm going to try my best to make it customize it for you to fit everyone that is looking to move to ghana like tailor made for those that are looking for videos like this i've been able to reply some but not everyone because sometimes i don't have time so if i have not replied to you i'm sorry look at this video and know my thought on this and see my sincere thought about this and see me telling you is it a thought this is me telling you what i know here as a non ghanaian living in ghana so this video is targeted at those that are looking to move to ghana or those ghanaians that are looking to return back to ghana for various reasons and live permanently here so if that is you go on ahead and hit the subscription button because these are the most asked questions that people been asking houses and education i want to break it down so if you have kids in school like young children that are in primary and the nursery school i am going to try and make it easy for you as possible for me i have a child in nursery school right now and i have a child in primary school right now and i have a child in secondary school right now schooling in ghana so i'm going to use the areas that i know what i'm going through how i'm dealing with that to talk to you here on 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 this video so in in this video rather so pardon my english okay so the first thing you must know before you move to ghana if you're in Nigeria, you don't need visa to move to Ghana because you have the ECOWAS passport, which is going to be stamped if you're using airport. I thought some time ago, you'll be, you'll be given like 90 days to stay in Ghana. If you're using the road, you'll be given like 60 days to stay in Ghana. This days that you have been given to stay in Ghana, if you want to live here, the best thing for you to do is to go on ahead and work on your papers. Try to apply for... Um, a resident supply for resident permits and other papers that follow if you want to work here work permits in fact resident permits because without resident permits you're not going to be able to buy a house in ghana you're not going to be able to build a house by landing property in ghana so for you to secure that part of you no matter how easy people try to make it look for you don't fall for it okay before you buy or build a house in ghana you need resident permits that way nobody is going to cheat you when they try to cheat you you know where to go to report but without these papers people can take advantage of you i have said that Ghanaians are amazing yes but then in every crate of egg there is a bad one or two so and that bad one can mess the whole can can scatter the whole place for you so the best thing for you in order not to be getting you know in order not to be taken advantage of by anyone make sure you have the right papers so that you can report the person to the right authorities if the issue goes wrong you can easily know what to do where to go all right that becomes like your backing your evidence your weakness freely you can talk to the police oh and they'll ask you where are you from you you can talk even if they don't ask you where are your papers you know you have it in case they ask you and you will not be you will not be taken on seriously or be looked like an unintelligent person so have that in mind okay don't let any other person fool you but if you are in ghana for me i've not gotten mine and because of that i'm going through a lot right now i do not have a bank account in ghana I cannot buy a SIM card and register in my name in Ghana. I'm working on it, okay? Those of you that are very close to me by now, you already know that I'm working on these things because I would like to have my salary account transferred here in Ghana, in a bank here in Ghana, because I don't have it here and even my salary don't come to Ghana. I go through a lot because of that. Sometimes I suffer hunger, untold hunger in this house that nobody knew about. So, 
for you to do all these things and have your papers and have your bank accounts you need residence permits now let's go to the one that you have been asking me this one is bonus because it's very very important that is why i decided to talk about it first so let's go to the one that you have been asking which is accommodation yes so accommodation in accra ghana to be precise because this is where i live is I wanted to say expensive but no i can't do that because it's not every part of accra that is expensive especially in terms of accommodation i live in an area that is um not considered i don't live in the heart of the city in fact from here to osu is about one hour that is a lot right that is a whole lot on the road also is considered to be the heart of the city east legon and um jewelu councilment um 37 seco accra and uh, name them i can't remember all so those ones are all considered to be in the heart of the city i live in the outskirts of the city and it is freaky freaky far from here to the city you know what that means but it's okay i don't have a nine to five or i don't have a business that takes me out of the house every day if i'm going out to film i know i'm going out to film i can use that day to do like two or two three videos and return home to edit them i don't have to wake up the following day and run back the because you get it so if you're someone like me if you're not looking to get a job in ghana when you come you're looking to just be on your own to work from home or you have saved a lot of money you don't need to work then that could be you here living in a place like mine you know live in a place that is less expensive but still offers you everything that the city can offer you from my house to the mall to one of the shopping malls here in accra is about 15 minutes drive from my house that is because i go with the trotro when you get to ghana you know trotro in case you don't know it yet so trotro is the public buses you know that one that stops from time to time to pick up other passengers like yourself so they're gonna delay you that's the only price you pay for that uh if you have your own car charlie it's, it's less than 10 minutes already okay from my house to one of the shopping malls here in accra ghana and every Everything you can get in another shopping mall you can find it right in this one all the businesses owns their branches that yeah we have different malls in in accra they have their chimota they have their accra they have the west hill and they have the junction mall they have um a and c uh, a and c mall they have a lot of things that i can't remember right now to state marina mall and the rest in all of them each business is almost every thing you can find at a crown mall you can find it at west here mall they have branches like that you can find mr price at shop right uh sorry you can find mr price there you can find mr price at um west hill and um achimota mall the same thing goes for ShopRite game and the other ones so i hope you understand so you lack nothing in terms of that so if you live in my part of the city is far away from osu so yeah you know what i mean it's like where i live outskirt of the city you can get a one bedroom apartment for for from 700 cities a month to 800 cities a month that's one bedroom apartment not furnished all right empty space but it has the living room the kitchen the the bedroom and the bathroom one bathroom then you can find the ones that have like two bathrooms but it's gonna go a little bit pricey for you it's not you may not you may, you may not get it between that 700 to 800 you may get it maybe slightly higher maybe like 800 cities i'm trying to be as details as possible in this video so that i can help you okay so be patient mm. but you see but you see this same house that i live in right now the same one bedroom apartment in councilment you're going to be paying in dollars if they tell you in cities they feel it's too much for you they'll tell you in cities i mean they'll tell you in dollars east legon you're going to pay a lot of money for the same place and they're going to it may come in dollar okay they'll tell you okay every month we take 200 dollar it sounds small in your here but that money is a lot in cities so please 
If you were me, if I were you, I would not stay there. I'll go to the one that pays in cities. <laughs> because it's dangerous. <clears throat> it is dangerous because sometimes cities go very low, very, very low, and dollar go high. And you are expected to pay equivalent to that at that time. So that is where it's dangerous. You're not going to enjoy your stay in Ghana. Trust me. Don't come here with that lifestyle. Please don't do it to you. Don't do it to the kids. So that same house here, if the one you see in cities, they may tell you, okay, uh, you know, Sue or councilman, for example, you may get that same house for 2,000 cities, 1,500 cities for a one bedroom apartment. So the choice is yours if you want to pay that much to live. And of course, why not? The heart of the city, you, you, you spend less on transportation if you are the type that likes to go out. Quickly, your choice, but don't rent it in dollars, okay? Tell them I said so. <laughs> yeah so if you want like two bedroom places like cantonment is legon two bedroom is gonna go for as much as five thousand cities a month five thousand cities and you're expected to pay for one year sometimes yeah, you get three thousand cities two thousand five hundred cities per month but in an area like mine Two bedroom apartment you can get for a thousand two hundred cities to a thousand five hundred cities per month, and you're expected to pay for twelve months. I hope you understand. Okay, so that's it. Three bedroom, you just add something slightly to it to get that. If you want like a self compound in an area like mine, be sure to have nothing less than two thousand cities and above for a self compound, and uh, usually come with three to four bedroom apartments you know that's what i mean so i hope that is sorted out the part of accommodation because you need it you don't want to live in a hotel in ghana actually you don't want to even anywhere in the world you don't want that because crazy now let's move on to education for parents this is very important so if you don't have kids already this part is not for you you can skip or hold on let's do it or listen to me just in case you want to talk to someone but if you don't have kids you don't have business with this part this one is for those with children if you have children of school age chale uh, education in ghana is one of the best you can find in the world they are good the education here is good but it does not come it doesn't <clears throat> but it does not come cheap at all at all it's very expensive okay Guys, I don't talk about my own self. Let's talk about as it is. Mm? See, my little girl is just two years old and she's starting school very soon. I went to register her and do you know how much I paid? I paid 3,400 and something for registration. Please, you can convert that to dollar right now. To some people, but for me, it is just one child, a little girl, two years. Uh, but the books that they gave her, scare me like plenty books for a two years old child for the whole academic year for your child so i hope you understand then i have the one in primary school i am expected to pay the same amount a bit more uh just a little more higher because of the types of book given to her so prepare your money between three thousand to five thousand cities per term why that is like that is because right now is her first time she's going to be getting uniforms she's going to get the school bus including she's going to get um feeding from that money okay that's why it's that much though so subsequently when i'm paying renewing when we are paying school fees the uniforms will be out of it the next time also books will be out of it so it's going to reduce by at least 700 to 800 cities so i'm looking to pay around to to 2600 per term okay termly which is three months every three months do you understand all right so that is it for secondary school right now uh once i'm done with this video i'm going to register my niece because she is already in senior high and because she's in senior high in nigeria coming to ghana here they want her they want her to go back to js3 and write um they want her to go back to js3 and apply and write 
to go to SS1. Then that way she can pick any senior high school of her choice. They can place them. They don't just take you and put you. It comes with that everything about your SS senior secondary school in Ghana is done in your junior secondary school. So you decide which one you want to go. You apply, you write later, you write the exam that fits that school. If you make it, you'll be placed there free of charge, okay? Probably you're gonna pay for uniforms and stuff. But then, in the absent of that, you have to, because my niece didn't do her gesture in Ghana, she did it in Nigeria, and I feel like, okay, let her go to a private school to get it. In a private school in Ghana, we are looking to pay about 3,000 cities for her. School fees is about 1,400 cities a term for a private school okay because she's not going to pay school bus she's not going to feed from it so everything with uniforms and book we are looking at three thousand plus cities do you understand that's for a private school government schools are free of charge the only thing is abide by the rule follow it up and you get it you see when it comes to secondary school the government schools in ghana are the best the focus is very much there. So if you want to go public school, if you want your kids to go, it's very good, okay? So mind you, you may not get some very close to your house. They may have to pay their way to some part of the city to go attend the school and come back. Can we move to the next? <laughs> and also some schools in Ghana here, like East Legon, Councilment and the rest, they pay in dollars. So be prepared, okay? You see a school that pays $3,000 a term, three thousand dollars you know two thousand dollar one thousand dollar as the case may be so if you want that for your kids Ide Ghana they have it okay if you can afford it it's very okay okay nothing is wrong with giving your child the best it's the best thing you can give them good education but if you want to be like me you want to live regular like my fellow Ghanaian and myself you can do what I do maybe in another part of the city it may not necessarily be my own part of the city okay it can be another part is you'll find something like this around there all right shall we move to the number what how many have I said by the way I can't remember but I've said a couple of them I've said like three right I've talked about three accommodation I've talked about um, resident permit and I've talked about education so we don't if you want to talk about uni Please don't put me through that. I don't have a child in uni and I did not go to uni in Ghana. I don't know anything how it's done in Ghana, okay? So let's go to... Which one should we go to? Okay, medication, right? Should we talk about health? Okay, in case you want to, but nobody has asked me about health, but let me just say it. If you want to come to Ghana and you're worried about medical services in Ghana, it's one of the best you can get, okay, from around the world. Don't worry. White doctors, we have it. Black doctor, we get some. Mixed doctor, any type, nurse that you want, we have it. Prepare your money if you want to go private hospitals. It's expensive, but they offer you the best, okay? It is very very good but pricely government own have it there to make it easy for you me if you have health insurance it gets really sweet so if your kids you have young kids in school automatically if they are in schools like mine like my kids schools they're gonna team together even if you don't register them as a parent the school gonna do it they'll take them to the health um education i mean the school and the health uh, sector work together to register these children give them the health card all you need to pay is eight ghana cities at 2022 but this year we are waiting to see if it goes up or come down or remain the same okay so health in ghana is very very af available it's accessible but i mean it's expensive though so you just have to know that and no peace the government hospitals are trying their best all you need to endure is the character of some of the workers, which the hospital is not your home. If I were you, I would patronize them if the needs arises and pay less and go home. So what do you think? And then uh, you want to give birth in Ghana, okay? Okay, you're still making babies, right? Your wife is still producing. Don't worry. She have a baby very, very easy, simple, safe in Ghana for almost nothing, for peanut price. So having a baby in Ghana, in public hospitals in Ghana, is very affordable. And your child gets the birth certificate. Um, after five years of living in Ghana, those kids are automatically citizens of Ghana. I hope that we're good. If there's 
anything I didn't cover, please don't worry. If you want me to talk about the general cost of living, comment down below and I'll sit down again and do this. But meanwhile, I want to tell you, please don't forget to check my description, okay? 